Hi guys, welcome back to my weekly readings. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday weekend. For those of you that are frontliners and have had to work all of this time, um, thank you for your hard work. I know that um, it's been tough with all of the challenges that we've been experiencing this year, but um, hopefully it gets better as time goes on. It has already improved some. The energy isn't quite as heavy. And I think that the, um, the cases that have been reported are declining. Hopefully this weekend doesn't raise the bar on that again. Just continue to um, take care of yourselves and protect those that you love. Today's reading is going to cover the energies that we may experience between the 7th and the 13th. As you know, tarot is timeless, so this energy or messages that come through today can go beyond this particular time just know that either way uh, whenever you listen to this reading there is some message in there for you of growth and love unconditional so onwards with the reading y'all the cards that we have on the table first card is four of earth the four of pentacles has its layers it is a grounded card it's one of earth element the things that we um, hang on to whether it's property or relationships but not always do they serve us so we may be hanging on to something that um, that perhaps if we made a different choice things would change we also have the lovers card right next to it so we may be hanging on to an ideal of a romance of a relationship an ideal of the perfect partnership when it comes to your home, um, family, your work, but uh, sometimes it's time to let go. We're being told that there are some ideals that we have or some situations that we're hanging on to that we could make a different choice because there are new beginnings on our doorstep we are being signaled that there are some things that we need to let go of that we have been holding on to for a long time um, but there are better things waiting for us things that spirit wants to bring to us because of the two major arcana cards and there is another one here on the table that I haven't shown you yet we have the choices and we have the beginnings love healing Gemini, representative of the sign of Gemini, Earth. This is representative of the fool, the beginning, the end, Alpha Omega. There's a zero. It's no. There's potential for something new to begin that isn't even created yet. But if you only were to take a leap of faith, to let go of some of the things, the plans, the dreams that you have put out for yourself. Perhaps it's a job. Maybe it's a job that you dreamed of having um, security, stability, and the job just does not offer you any growth. So you are at a plateau. Maybe spirit is saying, listen, if you look around or just let go of that ideal, maybe something better can come up. Same thing applies with relationships. You may be in a relationship, again, that has plateaued. There is no growth. Um, there may not even be any love at this point. Maybe it was a, a relationship of convenience at first or just of attraction due to the lower chakras. Physical attraction, attracted to the way that they acted, uh, the way that they looked and not who they truly were inside and now that you have spent time with them you realize that perhaps this isn't the type of relationship that you were hoping for or that you were dreaming of or, and but you're still wanting to hang on to it because of the familiarity of it the fact that you you feel that you are in love but you truly aren't and there could be healing that comes due to the fact that you see it um, because the four of pentacles represents a person that hangs on to their stability, hangs on to their finances, hangs on to the things that they have for dear life. 
But if only they would share it, or if only they would let go just a little. Other things could come into their life, but maybe they're hanging on to things too tightly out of fear of change. And we have change here. I was telling you, make a different choice. Make a different choice and change. There are new beginnings on the door for you, but you don't see them because you won't you won't allow them in. You're hanging on to what you have very, very tightly. Perhaps the relationship can grow, can heal, can become something different, but you need to let go of some pattern that you have that perhaps is holding you back. Same thing with your job. Maybe there's a pattern that you're experiencing. Maybe there's something else that you would rather be doing or wish you could be doing, but you need to let go of the fear in order for that other situation to start to come into your life because the fool is a zero potential. It hasn't formed yet, but it is there. It's there in the spiritual world, in spirit, in your subconscious mind, deep in your subconscious mind because we have the moon here as well. There are things that you dream of. There are things that you want. There are messages that come through to you in your dream time. There's also some darkness associated with your conscious mind. You don't see things clearly. In your subconscious mind, there are things that you want to manifest, that you desire deeply. But you don't seem to bring it forward. So perhaps there's, you need to spend some time healing from past healing from experiences that have hurt you, healing from those that have taken your power away. There are also cards that fell on the table before I started the reading that were cards of someone that takes your power away. There could be someone that you live with or someone that's close to you. This could be a family member. It could be a romantic partner. It could be a co-worker. It could be a best friend. Uh, someone that doesn't really work in your best interest because they want to have power over you. They take away your power in many, many ways. They could slander you. They could be gossiping behind your back. They could be doing things to you that you don't really realize because you don't really see it. You trust the person to a certain extent and you don't see what they're doing behind your back. But they are taking the power away from you in one way or the other. They're very cold-hearted. There's someone that doesn't really open up their heart to you, whether... Like I said, it could be anyone, someone that you know. Um, and it's very difficult for you. You already know the choices that you have to make to, or in order to let go of that relationship or that situation in your life, but you're afraid to do it. You're, you're wearing a blindfold and you refuse to take it off, even though you have other choices that you could make. But you don't want to because you're afraid. But the card that was behind that little bundle that fell down was the justice card. So that tells me that rulings will be made in your favor. Even though this abuse is going on in your life and you're allowing it because you refuse to let go of things that you know are not serving you, justice is going to step in and either way karma is going to wipe that slate clean and balance things out for you. So the person that is hurting you or taking the power away from you eventually is going to meet up with with a sword of justice and it's not going to be pretty for them and it's not that I'm I'm glad that this is happening because it isn't it's something that's uh, going to be very painful for that person but they have asked for it and you need to begin to respect yourself and know that it's time for you to start making some very decisive decisions that are going to open things up for you in the future that are going to change your future it's something that you're going to love but you need to work on your strength you see that she's laying on that lion she's sleeping so her her will has been put to bed in other words you're not really trying to fight for your destiny or for the things that you really love you you put it to sleep your lion your power your strength your urge to move forward. The lion represents the sign of Leo too that's very um, gregarious, very sunny because the sun is behind them. Um, they're very handsome, very beautiful people that are Leos. Um, they like to be in the limelight and you're refusing to do these things even though you are a very beautiful person, even though you can. You have talents that shine brightly like the sun but you refuse to show them in order to keep the people that are around you from being envious or from hurting you even more so you put everything to bed in other words um, so you don't really want to to use your strength and you need to you need to wake the lion back up get your fire burning again your power your strength your voice you need to be heard uh, make your choices so that they help heal you so they begin to heal you because it is here and you do have the potential to be whatever you want to be 
you need to start manifesting these dreams that you have because they they are there and you fear that they're not going to manifest because the nine of swords is here as well it's like a torture that you are torturing yourselves for no good reason um you know that you can change things so you need to start making plans to move your life forward so that this nine of swords losing sleep at night worrying about things that you shouldn't be worried about because there's no sense in worrying about things that you cannot change you need to start paying attention to the things you can change and that you can move forward with you also have the six of earth the six of earth is a very loving card it's very giving it's very sharing this could also represent uh, a person that helps you you need to find that person there's people out there that are already set in place in our lives at certain points in our lives to come into our lives to assist us in different things whether it's monetary whether it's support physical spiritual mental emotional financial different types of help but we need to seek out these people that are already in place for us even if it's just conversation that can help you open up um, to other possibilities the six of earth is a very balanced card there's a uh, a scale on that card usually so there's this could be a, a person that's um, the sign of Libra that can help assist you as well it could be someone that is used to helping other people so a counselor a financial um, advisor uh, someone that works with emotions it could be a, a, a priest a, a pastor someone of your faith that can assist you or it could even be a doctor you know of emotions you can go to a doctor to help balance your emotions out whoever this person is or whatever this is this could be you representing you that you're constantly giving and giving to others and you're not giving to yourself or you're not allowing others to give to you which has created a very big imbalance in your life to work is keeping you up at night sometimes because um, you can't sleep worrying about the choices that you have made and the things that you have done in your life so it's time to change here we have this is temperance it says patience there's also things that we're trying to manifest and when we don't manifest them then we just say oh forget it it's never going to happen we we lose faith in our own dreams and desires we need to be patient because some of the things that we want to manifest are not yet like I said there is zero potential they're not yet manifest they're not yet a thought we have to work a little bit harder in order to to begin to manifest and there's certain steps that we need to take certain things that we need to do in order to begin that manifestation that we're trying to do we need to temper our emotions as well we need to balance ourselves a bit more our physical life with our emotional life so that it balances more and we're able to move forward the temperance card also represents Sagittarius so there could be Sagittarians that can help you or you yourself are a Sagittarius and you know your card is coming out to represent you saying be more patient Sagittarius wait a little bit longer just keep moving forward in the path that you are trying to to manifest for yourself the next card is the wheel of fortune the wheel turns for all of us constantly things are always changing but we also need to take the steps in order to manifest the things that we want the wheel changes turns it may take you down another road that you weren't expecting things may come into your life by a, a very different way that you were hoping it would or a different person not the one that you were hoping for if it's a relationship it could be somebody totally different you may not recognize it at first because well you were hoping for something else but you need to learn to be more tempered with what you want and open up more to what divine intervention is bringing into your life this is a very fortunate card to get as some of the changes that are coming into our lives whether we want to or not are going to be very fortunate for us because it was upright okay messenger of water so for some of you this could be emotion emotional changes that are coming through a message it could be a, a text message it could be an email it could be something you hear from someone else this could be a message of of something that you love let's say you you're an artist and you get a message that's you can expose your work via the internet or what have you uh, do it begin start to 
to do things that your soul resonates with, what, no matter what it is. For me, it's art. For you, it could be something else. Start to do it. There are beautiful changes that are coming. We need to balance our emotions so that we can actually begin to see the possibilities of the things that are headed our way. And there's messengers that will be put in place to help us. Messages, written or otherwise spoken. You, you read it. Um, you hear it. You see it. Somebody shows you something or you pick up a piece of paper and there's something written on it that you needed to see. A book opens up and you read it and you think, wow, this is exactly my situation. Um, that could work as well with Bibles or any type of book that is for people to learn about themselves. You can open a book to whatever page opens up and, and read it because there could be a message there for you that's important. Five of Earth. We need to let go of the feelings of being isolated. We need to stop isolating ourselves. I know that right now it's hard to say that because of what's going on with the uh, COVID-19. But you could still get out and do other things, go out by yourself. You don't have to mingle with other people. But the isolation of staying in your room or staying apart from other people isn't good. You can communicate online. You can get out and, and spend time outdoors exercising or just breathing in fresh air. Um, provided you're not around other people, you can take the mask off and, and just share some of the earth with yourself, you know, get out there and share the, the breath of fresh air. Look at a flower, look at a stone. Don't feel like you are all alone and isolated and that nobody cares, because it's not true. When this happens in your life, it's because other people are going to start to come in, but you need to allow them to. You need to start joining groups online or what have you, so that you have other people, other ways of communicating, and you're not so isolated and, and left alone for the people that are abusive to, to, to be able to hurt you more than they should. Here's also the page of wands, the messenger of fire. So you have messages coming in that are emotionally um, helpful for you. Okay, and then you'll have messages that are inspiring. So you could get messages in your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams or two thoughts that pop into your head that are very inspiring for you so that you can unblock what is blocked in your life so that you can help move it forward. The Wheel of Fortune is already going to help with that. But you also need to help yourself by paying attention to the messages that you get and following through on them, which sometimes is hard to do. Nine of Earth. You're going to be doing a lot of work by yourself and it's going to be very helpful. You're going to be able to balance your emotions with your physical activities and become very self-sufficient. Okay. So you may get a raise, you um, may find another way of making money online or through your talents, but you're going to be congratulating yourself pretty soon because you're going to be working very, very hard in order to become this person here on the Nine of Pentacles, where she has pretty much worked alone and has built herself up by herself, financially stable has paid attention to her finances and has stabilized them and is making more money now and is able to buy the things that she needs for herself. Then you can be a male. This is male or female. doesn't matter. I say she because there's a female on here. But pretty soon you'll be, you'll be doing a lot better. It's either a new job that's coming in or you'll find new ways of making money, which is very helpful. So this week is all about unblocking yourself having more faith in who you are. Stop isolating yourself so much. Love is the answer to all my questions. So, I need to unblock the heart chakra. Open up a bit more. Don't isolate yourself anymore from those that you love or, or that love you. More unconditional love is being asked for of you. As I notice and appreciate my blessings, I open the door to more of God's gifts. So being more grateful is very important. I get that card a lot because it's hard sometimes to be grateful when so many things are going on in your life. But you need to be grateful for the fact that you woke up. Grateful for the fact that your family members are also awake. That they're with you. That they're healthy. That you're not having a really big issue with them. Um, 
your car, your bills, your job, you know, being grateful for everything that you have in your life so that other things that are supposed to be coming into your life are able to come in because you're not blocking it by being ungrateful or by being um, isolated or depressed and not really seeing things for what they for what they truly are. Let's get a message from Jesus. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. I know, again, it's very hard to be peaceful during these trying times, but if you look for it within, you'll see that you'll find it. Like I said, going outdoors is going to help a lot in finding peace because there's something really peaceful about being outdoors with nature, spending time communing with nature, and really paying attention to the sounds, to how the earth feels, to how the flowers feel, to how the bugs make little sounds and the birds are constantly conversing with you. As soon as they see you, they start talking to you, but you need to pay attention, you know, and all of those sounds are very, very calming to the soul. If that doesn't work for you, go outdoors, go into a pool, go to the ocean, try to find a spot where you can be alone and listen to the water, listen to the sounds that it makes. Again, nature is very calming to us. It's like, a child being back at their mother's lap and just having mom hold you or your grandmother somebody that you can um, remember from your childhood that was very loving and giving to you that's how mother nature is to us it really holds us in her bosom and really tries to calm us and gives us peace if you look for divinity within you you will find the peace that you are searching for just look for it when you feel unbalanced you can always find it it's within you it's being given to you so you need to search for it even if you think you don't have it within you you do it's there so that you can spend some very peaceful moments and very trying times A happy move to a new home or a place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. So for some of you, you're going to be moving. There's going to be a home move. Uh, you, you Perhaps you don't see it right yet, but we did get those cards where new beginnings. Letting go of the hold that you have on your life now if you're not completely happy because it's it things are going to change even if you are happy let's say you're happy but you're hanging on to things really tightly the universe wants to bring other things into your life because we have to continually grow spiritually karmically um, whatever your spirit has to grow experiences help us grow if you hang on to something very very tightly and you're not allowing the new experiences to come in the universe is going to remove th some things from your life in order to allow the other things to come in. If it happens by force, by universal force, it, it may be a bit disruptive. It's like getting the tower. Where things, you know, change drastically. But in order for you to have those growth moments or the lessons that you're supposed to be experiencing, you can't be hanging on to what you do every single day. You know, like a robot, you go through their emotions every day, the same thing, the same thing. No, you have to change some things so that you get those experiences in. So we did get the card of the Wheel of Fortune. That means a big change is coming. We got the Fool card, which is zero potential. That means something is about to form, something new is coming into your life. You have the Lover's cards, which is a choice. It could be a new romantic partner coming in. It could be a healing that's that's about to happen in your life from past experiences, from the things that you have been experiencing up to now in your life. A, a beautiful healing coming due to angelic intervention, spiritual intervention. The moon represents hidden um, desires. It represents the unconscious mind. It represents your spirituality. This could be also a person, a Pisces, or someone that's very spiritual that's coming into your life as well to help change things. Or you yourself pushing forward to the conscious mind what's been hidden in the unconscious to, so you can heal it. So you can unblock yourself and let go of some of those negative patterns that you've been hanging on to. Or negative thoughts, negative people, negative situations. So that that potential that's at zero starts to form in the direction that you need it to. 
to help heal yourself, to help move you forward, to bring that relationship into your life that, that for some of you, that is what you want. A new job, a new home, a new relationship, new home, new job, new relationship, new beginnings. Your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. Don't force. Just allow and let go of some things or be prepared to let go of some things because a happy move to a new home or a place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. And there, the girl is moving forward. Where the light is barely showing in the darkness. Moving with her unconscious mind. But consciously towards the place that she wants to go. Have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. Same things, different deck, about the same kind of cards or the same kind of message. The dawn is coming for this girl or this angel here. She's waiting patiently, communing with spirit, knowing that her desires are about to come true. She's patiently waiting, but yet moving forward, a little by little, step by step. And then we have Daniel. I am the angel of marriage, and I am assisting you right now. So this is the angel of relationships. So for some of you, there's a new relationship that's coming into your life, or... An existing relationship that goes to another level. If you were wanting to get married, you already have a relationship and and it's stable. It's something that you really like. It's something that you're hanging on to or that you're afraid to make the next move. This card is saying you are going to uh, solidify that relationship and marriage is on the cards for you. But you need to believe. You need to have faith. You also need to be very patient because your partner may need to grow a little bit more before they're there at that same level that you're in or perhaps you both are there now and you're moving forward towards a marriage this is just a confirmation that it is going to happen for those of you that are single and are hoping to have a relationship in your life soon it's coming and it's going to change your entire life when it does appear in your life so just have faith and keep moving forward keep calling in the partner positive affirmations and prayers because the person is coming it's just there's certain things that need to change in their lives as well it's not just one person it's two and for some of you it may be more than one person that comes into your life and you'll have to make your choice because you did have the lover's card or maybe they have to make a choice because they may have two people that they're choosing between the lover's card represents that as well believe and trust archangel michael before going to sleep tonight say archangel michael please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust let me be filled with strength courage and confidence Believe and trust in the new beginnings that are coming and what you are trying to manifest because it will. You just have to have a little bit more faith and believe that it can be and it will be. All you need to have is faith in the mustard seed, like Jesus said. You can manifest anything you desire. You just have to be patient because you can do it. It's just sometimes that manifestation can take a few years. And you have to wait and prepare yourself. Become that what you want to re, um, manifest. Here's what I spoke of before. The heart chakra. The answers that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. Open up the heart chakra so that you can allow more unconditional love to come in. Let go of resentment. Let go of um, not being able to forgive. Um, certain actions from people that have hurt you that have taken the, your power away from you forgive open up be grateful for that lesson so that it doesn't happen to you again and know that something wonderful is coming into your life okay just have to unblock that hard chakra but spirit has already said it's coming you just have to believe Okay, first of all, let me pull one of these cards, and then I'm going to do the interactive part of the reading. 
So be prepared with your question and what you will pick A, B, or C. This here is just messages that I'm going to give general, but then I'll pick one for each one of you as well. Let's see what Spirit has to say. But for some of you, a soulmate, either the one that already exists in your life or one that's about to come in. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Very emotional. There's someone that really cares for you, but you have no idea who they are. But they're there. They exist in spirit already. Perhaps you already know who that person is that exists in your heart. And soon you're about to meet them. Again, forgiveness. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too short, too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Okay? So you can manifest the things that you want into your life. They just take a little while, but you have to let go of resentments and forgive. Otherwise, what you are desiring just cannot manifest with those emotions because you don't want to manifest someone like that into your life, okay? That has unforgiveness in your heart or that has real issues. Okay, this will be just general because it popped out and it's what we're talking about. The law of attraction. Keep thoughts positive and surround yourself with positive people and situations. And you will attract more positivity into your life, more of the things that you want. Just desire it, know what it is, and go for it patiently. Don't try to push the energy too far. Just take one step at a time and then see what, what actually happens. Whether a door opens or not, or whether you need to go in a different direction. That's how Spirit talks to you. And... Eventually, you'll be able to manifest the things that you truly desire in your life. These cards really want to come out. And I'm going to go something. Okay. So, prepare your question. A, B, or C. One, two, or three. Tell me to stop. I will stop. One. Three. Okay, these cards are the Archangel Gabriel. Gabriel is the angel of messages. Or at least in the Bible, he was the angel that brought messages to Mother Mary, to Joseph, and many more, I'm sure. He was the one that was basically seen as the messenger. He would manifest in order to bring important messages. So I wanted to use that deck in order to clarify the romantic card or just as a message for you. Something that you need to <laughs> drop the card, sorry. A message that you might need to listen to. And again, trust. So we have forgiveness, we have trust, we have gratitude. This situation is calling you to have faith, to trust in your partner. Trust in the words that he's saying. So if, if some of you are having issues with trust or believing your partner at this time, believe, trust, lesson or blessing. Always remember that, okay? Sometimes we have difficult lessons to learn from the people that we love the most. Just believe and trust that it has to happen for a reason. Keep moving forward. Keep holding their hand. Keep hanging on to them and say, I love you. I trust you. I believe in you. And hang on to that thought, okay? Regardless of the lesson, you'll get through it. For some of us, it's telling us to believe and trust that what we're asking for is manifesting. It takes a little while. Be patient and believe. Don't give up. Once you give up, you break that cord of that attachment to that dream, to that desire, and then you have to start all over again. So don't give up. Right? <laughs> For some of, some of you, someone from your past is returning into your life, and this could be a past life, or this could be someone that you knew before someone that you've had a, a relationship with or someone that you knew 
that you never were able to uh, manifest a relationship with or someone that you were in a in a long-term relationship with and they somehow things happen to where you separated and now you have grown both of you and the energy is magnetizing you again to that person for some of you is someone that you're waiting for from a past life that you have yet to meet this person in this lifetime but comes in at this time in order to assist you throughout the rest of your years so it could be different for all of you but hey hey whatever it is it's still good news those of you that chose a listen only to love don't allow fear to distract you from your divine life mission again unconditional love speak only words of love to yourself in the mirror to those around you if you're around people that are going to say negative things to you walk away from it you don't need to listen to it you have angelic energy speaking to you at this time listen to what they're saying they're talking to you either in your dreams or into your subconscious mind as you are awake you need to pay attention to those messages that are repetitive and follow through with the guidance that you're receiving from your angel because you are receiving it and they're only speaking words of love so if you think they're telling you to go jump off the cliff that's not an angel talking that is quite an ego your own ego talking trying to shut you down from the beautiful things that you are that you can become so only listen to words of love and i'm sorry i was so drastic but i'm a sagittarian and i really am sometimes my my words are very drastic and they like cut to the to the chase but there could be some people out there that are listening that are very down and thinking that there's just no they're not going to be able to ever manifest what they desire. That's not true. You need to listen to your heart. Listen to only words of love that are coming to you from your angels, from your um, beloved people that have passed already, their, your guides, your, your, your ancestors, your family members. It could be children. It could be best friends. It could be old lovers. They're talking to you from the other side and they're trying to help you. So listen to only words of love. You have someone that you have a lot of magnetism with. There's a lot of chemistry between you and another person. Whether you know who this person is or not, you need to mend the bridges with this person if it's someone from the past in order for you to move forward. Um, there's a new person coming into your life that you're going to feel a lot of magnetism with. You're not going to ask yourself, is this my soulmate? Am I talking to the right person? No, you're going to want this person so badly because of the chemistry between you that there will be no question. So if there are several people that you're talking to and one of them stands out more in your heart and you feel more attracted to that person for X, Y, and Z, that would be the one as opposed to all the others that may have other things that you like, but there's that one that's particular. So that is the one, okay? So you're going to have a lot of chemistry with a person that's only going to speak words of love to you. Listen to it. There's going to be other people that are not so nice. Sometimes you can tell the type of person by going out to eat with them. See the way that they eat or the way that they talk about other people while they're eating. If it's something that you dislike, step away from them because it's um, that person will not be any good for you. Those of you that chose B, stay true to yourself, your boundaries, the things that you like, the things that you love, what really resonates with your heart. Um, addictions are affecting your romantic life. There is some type of codependency going on with you and another person, which is not good. Either try to work on this, stay true to who you are. If there's something about that relationship that doesn't work, step away from it. Even if it hurts you, eventually you will heal. And someone else will step into your life that's more like you, someone that you're really going to like. You can heal this codependency as well. You have to know what it is and you have to work on it with your partner. If you are not in a relationship right now, this codependency could be drinking, eating too much, smoking, sleeping too much, um, negative patterns, watching TV and not leaving your home, isolating yourself. There's many ways of codependent you're codependent with other people you're living with other people and they help with the bills and you've become dependent on that type of living maybe they're telling you it's time for you to step out on your own maybe you should just stand on your own two feet once that happens you'll have a great job that comes to you a great relationship and you'll no longer be alone but you'll be dependent on yourself being true to yourself 
don't compromise or water down your ideas. Listen to trust and follow your inner voice. Listen to who you are. If something isn't working, it's time to step away from it. If it's something that you can fix, then try to work on it. If you can't fix it, move, al move along. Get to the next stage in your life. Be true to who you are and how you feel. Otherwise, you'll be very, very unhappy and eventually you will regret not having made these choices or changes when you could have. Because then they become harder to do and still you cannot avoid them. You still have to do them even if it's 20 years down the road. What starts badly ends badly. Remember that those are words from an angel to me. Don't go where angels don't tread because you'll regret it. Don't start something that you know begins in a bad place and then you're hoping, oh, it's going to improve. No, no. It doesn't improve and only gets worse. And in the end, you hurt even that much more worse because you didn't stop it from the very beginning. Nip it in the bud, like they say. Okay, C. Have confidence in your creations. Trust in the power of God's creativity, which is being manifested through you. So you have talents that are either asleep or talents that you don't believe are good enough. Whatever it is, you need to believe in your creations because they come directly from divine energy. Whatever you're doing or whatever you do helps others. And you need to continue to do it. You can't just shut down because you don't feel good. Very soon, there's some things that are going to start to manifest in your life that you've really wanted to manifest, whether it's a relationship, a new job, a new direction, a new home, a happiness in your life, abundance that suddenly comes in from nowhere. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Clearly decide on what it is you want. Do you want a better job? Do you want a relationship? Do you want to move to another place? You can't be wanting one thing and doing something else. You have to focus on, okay, that is what I want. I clearly want a new relationship. I clearly want to move. I clearly want to step away from people that are negative to me. I don't want to feel that in my life anymore. And it magnetizes to you. I clearly want a different job. It'll come to you, whatever it is. Have confidence in the things that you can create for yourself, your home, your relationship. Have confidence. And if it's art, or writing, or dancing, or singing, whatever it is, have confidence in it. There's ways that you can get on different platforms to show your work or to express yourself. Look for it, find it, and do it. Divine Energy is saying, get with it. Maybe it's just taking care of animals, because there's a little cat like running, running around there looking at the angel, looking shocked because an angel comes in and gives a message. If you see your animal doing something funny, and you're wondering, what the hell are they seeing? You're probably being visited by an angel, or your angel is very close to you. Pay attention to what you were thinking at that moment, or pay attention to the next thoughts that are gonna come into your head after you realize that you're not alone at that moment, that there could be a visitation of some sort, either a loved one or an angel that's stepping into your, into your area to come to talk to you. You can sit and meditate for a few minutes and see if something pops in your head. And it'll come from divine energy. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please like and share my videos. I'm going to start to um, express myself more again and be more online. If you would like a private reading with me on any subject, please write to me at risesheelingarts11 at gmail.com. I'll have a link below. I do appreciate you from my heart to yours. I'm sending lots of love. I'll talk to you again next week. Bye for now.